Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. There's no interest and no credit check needed. Download the Dave app from the App Store right now. That's D-A-V-E. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve. Member FDIC. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Holly Randall Unfiltered. Quick shout out to my girl, Joanna Angel, for sending me a fuck ton of liquid death, sparkling water. I love this stuff. She threatened to send me an entire pallet, which is 150 cases. And I was like, mm, though I would eventually drink all of that liquid death, I don't have room for it. But I appreciate the few cases that she did send me. So um, relax. It's just water. Uh, let me introduce my guest today. She is a very special lady. Uh, she was born in and lived in Kenya for 10 years before moving out to the U S she is new to the adult industry and now under contract with browsers. I had the good fortune of working with her a couple of times and I just really like loved her energy. And I just thought she was so like beautiful and sparkling and fun. And I almost never have people on who are like new in the adult industry. So I thought it would be cool to have like that fresh perspective. And she's just also like a lot of fun as a person. So (laughs) let me welcome Elsie. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate you. Um, You look adorable. Oh, thanks. Um, How are you? I'm really good. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm just like, yay. When you, I remember when you asked me to be on it, I was like, (laughs) like, I was like, (laughs) it's so funny because I, first of all, like I'm so I feel so honored that you were excited. (laughs) Um, And then there's like some people that I ask and they like literally ghost me. They're like, nah. And I'm like, man. So when somebody's like excited to come on, I'm like, oh, yay. Somebody (laughs) still likes me. And like my show is valuable in some way. No, I remember when you asked, I was like, honestly, I thought you would never ask. Even though like it was our second time meeting. (laughs) I was like, I was just kind of waiting for that. Uh (laughs) Well, I mean, I I do try to be kind of particular about who I ask Mm -hmm. to come on because just because you're beautiful doesn't mean you're going to yeah. be an interesting interview. <laughs> but like I said, honestly, like you have great energy oh, and you're like you. a lot of fun. And <laughs> it was actually funny after we did our first shoot um, uh, with Aubrey Valentine mm-hmm. for Twisties. Yes. Uh, Twisties reached out to me and like asked me what I thought about you. And I was, Amber and I were both like, oh my God, oh she's my God. awesome. <laughs> like we love her. She's so fun. She's so sweet. Oh, and they said that they'd been getting that feedback from all of the producers that you've worked with. So <laughs> basically like, yeah. everybody loves Elsie. Yeah, good. <laughs> good. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> so, um, let's start from the beginning. Tell me about growing up in Kenya. Oh, that was the best. Oh my gosh. I miss it so much. Like I was born and raised there and I was a town kid. My mom was like a young mom. So like. Like, I was taken care of by my grandma, like, my aunts and uncles. Like, it was just really fun. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I had a really great childhood. It sounds like you had a really, like, close family dynamic. Yeah, very close. Um, Like, I'm just, honestly, um, what is it? Because my mom has, like, a lot of siblings. So, she was always, like, very into, like, just, like, be oriented with your family, hang out with your siblings. So, like, my siblings are my best friends because of that, like, her pushing that. How many siblings do you have? I have three i have two sisters and a brother but they're all younger than me oh and then did you guys all come out to america yeah so me and my sister came here and then my two other siblings were born here okay yeah so why did your mom leave kenya uh it was like i don't know i never really asked them i think it was just like i remember them like getting the green cards like trying out for it they didn't get it the first time and then i think my grandpa's who pushed them to try it again and then when we got it my dad got it first and he moved here and then Mm -hmm. um we got it like a year after, so then we came with and met up with our dad here. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Do you feel like they thought like maybe there was just more opportunity here? Yeah, I honestly, I never, I don't know why I never asked them about it. Like I just, I think they were doing it off like what their parents were telling them because like they were young too. So mm-hmm. I think like that's what it was based off. Yeah. Yeah. Do they miss Kenya? Yeah, I mean they go back every year. We go. They were they just came back. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what? Um, how often do you go back? We go, like, every year. This is the second year. Well, no, I was there last year, but this was the second time I wasn't there for the family vacation, like, the annual family vacation. Mm -hmm. But I try to make it every time. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then, and it's a different language. Mm -hmm. We speak more, well, it's tribal over there. Okay. So my tribe speaks Kikuyu. I don't speak it, but Mm -hmm. I understand it like perfectly. And the main language is Swahili, Mm -hmm. but every tribe has like their own language. So what is the tribe? What is your tribe specifically? Kikuyu tribe. Kikuyu tribe. And then what would you say are like the hallmarks of your tribe? Ooh, being late. (laughs) <laughs> I would definitely say that. I don't know. Maybe that could be a whole African thing. I don't know. But we're very late. But um, you're never late. I know. I really try. I was like, wait a minute. I've worked with you a couple I know, of times. Right? You but- were on time here. <laughs> like, you're not late. Right? It's work. It's work. But, like, for functions, I'm going to be late. Because I don't want to be part of the setup crew. Like, okay. I don't want to be part of it. Like, you know, at well, a I don't function. think everybody comes on time to party. Unless it's, like, a wedding. Yeah. You don't yeah. ever. You're never no, even weddings. Start. That's the thing. It's just, like, when you tell a Kenyan a party starts at 4, I expect them to be there at 8. Okay, because in LA you expect them to be at least an hour or two later. Yeah, like that's literally how I plan parties here. (laughs) Yeah, I mean the traffic here is like crazy. It is, but I think that Angelinos just use it as an excuse to not be on time. Um, I remember actually I threw a party once and I said like the party was going to start at four and I expected people Mm -hmm. to show up at six. And a friend of mine who just moved here from Ohio Mm -hmm. showed up at four. Oh my god! And I was like, "What are you doing here?" He's like. It's four. It's like we're not ready. It's like it's four. <laughs> like, it's when you said the party was starting. I'm like, no one gets to parties on time. Exactly. What's wrong with you? Now you're part of the setup crew. Like, <laughs> yeah. literally. Exactly. Help now get you're in the kitchen. Up. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. And like, what else is a staple of us? Music, being loud, um, just partying. Like, that's us. Like, mm-hmm. I would definitely say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And going to church on Sundays. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Party on the week, like Saturday, Saturday and then church on Sunday. That's a good balance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what was immigrating like as a child? Like when you got here, was there a huge culture shock for you? It was. Um, I remember I got here in June. So like school had just ended. So I, we were staying with my cousins and it was just like kids were playing outside, but it wasn't like how Kenya was where... You just tell your parents goodbye in the morning and you are out with your friends exploring. It was more like you're in this community and you have to stay here. Because, so having the whole like kidnapper talk was like, what? <laughs> you know, I so never that knew. doesn't happen in Kenya. It probably does, but it was never to where it's like, you know, like stranger danger. Because mm-hmm. like you just know everybody in your community. Mm-hmm. Like people see you. So that was like the thing where it was like very culture shock, not knowing who your neighbors are like that. Like. Not being able to kind of leave your kids, like, with the neighbors. Like, it was just so different, like, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad that that we have to be like that. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That whole, like, fear of what could happen mm-hmm. to your kids, that Definitely. we live in a world like that. That's... Yeah. And having to grow up fast as a kid, too, like, because you learn that. Yeah. Yeah. So what else? Was there anything else? That I mean, was... also, like, when I started school, I started fourth grade. And I just remember I packed a traditional, like, school lunch. Like, a... it was so embarrassing because, like... Nobody would understand it. And also, I I always, like, I know I don't sound like I'm from Kenya, obviously, but I had such a thick accent back then. And, like, I just know no one could understand me. And Kenyans love to stare at people. So, like, I know I was scaring those kids by, like, just, like, looking at them and just being, like, blue eyes? I've never seen that. You know, like, they were just, like, such, like, features I've never seen before. So, it was, like, I was definitely staring at people and, like, scaring them because I did not have friends. So, I think it was, like, because I was staring at them, like... <laughs> wow. And you said you packed a traditional lunch. What is yeah, that? Yeah, it was like moki mo, and it's like, I hate it so much. Like, I don't even eat it to this day. But it's, um, it's like a struggle meal. <laughs> it's literally potatoes, peas, um, and mashed together. And then you mm-hmm. have it with soup. So, yeah, it wasn't that good. I remember my teacher, he looked at me, and he's like, he kind of felt bad that he was like, I'm going to get you lunch. Like, shout out to Mr. Hall. I like <laughs> Like, thank you for that. Because it was really, like, he just looked at it and was like, Let's get you some food. <laughs> like, yeah. So what was like the first like American food that you had? A burger, a cheeseburger. And ha- with milk. Like I literally got was like. milk? No, because like I just, I went up to the lunch and I was like, I tried to remember what I seen on Disney Channel. And it was always like burger and milk, strawberry milk. So that's what I tried to have. The burger was good. The milk was terrible. Don't you, I remember from us oh discussing God. before, you have a really <laughs> weird way of eating cereal. Can we just yeah. talk about that really quickly? Oh my God. <laughs> I was scared. Because I think about, I think about that still. Like yeah, I really I mean, do. I, I just had that yesterday and I was like, I hope she doesn't ask me about that. But <laughs> I don't mix my cereal together because I don't like the sogginess. So I usually have my bowl of Cheerios, my honey, not honey nut, sometimes honey nut, but I like the whole grain. Okay. And then a cup of milk on the side. 
And then I eat it like this. And I drink my milk. Just like that. <laughs> and now I'm usually at peace. But then when my friends saw that, they were like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So that's when I realized, like, oh, I can't do this in front of everybody. Like, <laughs> like this is like, embarrassing. You have to, like, hide your yeah, cereal eating in shame. <laughs> yeah. Shamefully When people are eating their cereal. breakfast in the morning, I'm just like, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> like... I just wait till y'all leave. <laughs> you know, I really, I hope one day that we live in a world where you can eat, can eat your freely, cereal honestly. and milks freely right. and without judgment. And I just know that I cannot be the only one. I just hope some of these, someone out there that eats like that. You know, someone's going to respond on the comments yeah. on the YouTube saying that they, they do that too. And shout out to you. Like, I fuck with you. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's hard being real out here. Like, it's just, ugh. <laughs> oh my god what is um i mean what traditional kenyan foods is there anything that you miss oh i miss chapati i okay. like oh and ugali i used to hate it when my mom would make it but like now that i can't make it i just like miss it so much mm -hmm. like it's cornmeal mixed like mashed together and then like what counts is the sides so mm -hmm. like you have it with collard greens meat just like a bunch of vegetables and you pick it with your hand and you just do that like, mm -hmm. I just miss eating with my hands. Like, yeah. 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 That's, um, most people don't eat with their hands out yeah. here. So have you been to, have you tried to go to any like Kenyan tried, restaurants out here? I didn't see any. I just see, uh, Nigerian and just Jamaican, but I have like, no, not near where I live. I haven't seen any. Yeah. yeah. There's a whole, I, yeah. I mean, I know that there's a lot of Ethiopian restaurants mm -hmm. around, but I don't know if I've yeah. ever seen like an authentic Kenyan restaurant. I know. Maybe I should start one. Honestly. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you should. <laughs> this might be your calling. <laughs> so, um, how did you get into the adult industry? Oh, it was weird. Uh, it was like four months ago, five months ago. It was, um, I was doing OnlyFans, but I wasn't really doing sex content on there. It was just like pictures. And then um, some guy subscribed to it and um, he kept asking me, like, he's like, hey, do you want to join the industry? Like, I know this person, like I'm a recruiter, all this, like, I think you'd be great. And I just kept being like, no, like, I, can, I just don't think that's what I want to do right now. And then I think the third time he asked and he was speaking money too. And like, he was just telling me about the agencies that you can look it up. Like kind of give me like the information about mm -hmm. it. So I was like, you know what? Like I'm going to look, go and look into it. And then I looked at like a bunch of interviews like about the industry. And um, what is, I watched that one Netflix doc documentary, like Hot Girls Wanted or something. So then I was like. Which one did you watch? The one with, um. Hussy models. Yeah, that was that the first one. Because yeah. I was in the second. Oh, there's more? Yeah, I was in the second season. Oh, shit. I didn't even know that. My I didn't know there was more. Yeah. So that so Hot Girls Wanted, the first one was Hussy Models mm -hmm. in Florida. It's a pretty negative yeah. <laughs> industry. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, see. And then um, I was like, you know what? I'm fine. So like they, uh, I spoke to Sandra. She, uh, she saw my pictures, loved it. And then she called me. And I was like, when I was speaking to her, I was like, wow, like a woman, like, run like you know like that was awesome so i was like fuck it i'll do it so then i i flew out i did my first video with casting couch which was okay and then how was it it was good it was yeah. a like that, that video i was not expecting it to blow up like it, the way it did i think it's like a two million views right now wow. but it wasn't my name it was like eve i put like a different name so like okay. yeah a lot of people didn't know it was me uh-huh but um it blew up like i got a lot of followers from it when people like kind of realized and like I saw some comments with class classmates who saw that, so it was weird. Yeah. But um, that one blew up. And then before it actually came out, Sandra, I hadn't fully signed to OC. I was still thinking about it. And then that's when she told me about Brazzers. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, shit. So I signed to her, and then, like, I got my contract with Brazzers. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so before we get into your contract with Brazzers, mm -hmm. I just want to revisit that first scene. Because that's, like, you know, this kind of monumental time in your life, yeah. right? You've made – I mean, once you've done – yeah, a the porn scene, one, like, there's no going back. <laughs> so, what, like, take me through it. What was it like? You showed up? Like, was it what you expected? Def, it was, okay, so I got picked up by, like, the director, and uh, it was weird, because I didn't even know what name I was going to use. So, like, we're just, like, speaking about it in the car, and I wanted to use Elsie, but then he was like, nah, like, let's do something else. So then I was like, mm, I'll do Eve, because I was, like, about the WWE wrestler Eve, like, the mm -hmm. diva girl. And then um, I was going to do Eve Scott, but I asked my friend about it, and she was like, that sounds like a civil rights leader. Like, literally. And I was like, bitch, it does. Like, it, <laughs> like you know, I sound like I'm out here in the streets marching. And then she was like, so then I was like, okay, I'll just do Eve. And then I told them that, and um, I went and got my makeup done, got pictures. It was very secretive. 
like it was more like yeah put your phone down put your like you know like it was just very not like how Brazzers says you could be like you know I'm on set with Brazzers Mm -hmm. it was like yeah it was very private um so they didn't want you posting to social media yeah that I was there or anything like that and then um could have been the location. Yeah. Sometimes locations are funny about that. Yeah. Or they like they don't want it posted like same day or something. Like yeah. I don't know. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. But yeah. Um. What else? Honestly, I think I wasn't eased into it as well as like when I went to Brazzers. Then I realized how different and how kind of terrible that was. Like, you know, like mm-hmm. <laughs> there's no boundary checklist. It was more like he told me what he liked and then was like, all right, chop, chop, let's get into it. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, cause like there was a part where he tried to get me to eat his ass. And I was like, I don't do that. You know? So mm-hmm. like he pushed, like put, he's pushing me down and try to eat it. And I'm like, <laughs> like oh, no, no. Yeah. And it was like, we didn't have this discussion. Before. Yeah. So that was where it was weird. And also like, there's parts in the video where you can hear me like struggling. And I think that's why it blew up. Like, really? honestly, yeah. Like, struggling like how? Like, struggling to take it like it was you know like pain in some parts okay so like the fact that you can hear that like they didn't show a lot of it but they kept the sound on so like i think that's why I blew up. Like, yeah so were like you saying struggle. stuff like i need you to stop no like- it was just like just my moans like it okay. literally just sounded like a struggle right yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. But it's fine, honestly. I haven't fully watched it. I was like, whatever. At least it blew up. Imagine, like, it would have sucked if I had a video that didn't blow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would have, like... Yeah, so you feel like that made it kind of worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then tell me about your first scene with Browsers. That one was an ad scene, and that one was really fun. Mm-hmm. It was um, Marvin's set. Like, it was so much fun. I love his sets. Um, that one, I don't know if I can say who it's with, but, like, it's going to be coming out hopefully soon. But okay. then I did the Brazzers meets Elsie, which just came out mm-hmm. with Xander Corvus. That one was really fun, too. It was a gonzo scene. And mm-hmm. it was, like, BTS, kind of, like, you know, introducing myself to Brazzers and just, like, porn. So it was really nice. Mm-hmm. Like, to have, like, a reintroduction from Eve to Elsie. Yeah. 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 I saw, um, how was it working with Xander? Xander. It was really fun. Um, we got along really well. Like, he's, like... I just love his conversations because he's yeah. very, like, conscious and just, like, you know, passionate. educated. Yes, yeah. and passionate. I love yeah. him. I had so, him on this podcast once, and our it was one of my longest episodes. Yeah. It was two hours. Oh, shit. We talked about, like, God and the meaning of life. It was yeah. great. Like, yeah. we, we barely talked about porn. That, that's the it thing. Was, like, like, he can just really, like, yeah. like, it's work for him, and he has, like, other passions outside of it, which yeah. is just, like, what I like to see because it was, like, Oh, so I can do this and not be fully into just porn. I mm-hmm. can also have interest that's out of it. Yeah. And like my money can go towards something good. So, yeah. 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 So um, how long is your contract with Browsers for? Six months. Okay. Yeah. So I have a weird contract. Um, it's like developmental. So that right now they're developing me and my brand mm-hmm. and then, then like full see. exclusive. It's weird. Like, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm yeah. sure. I mean, they <laughs> know like what they're doing signed. there. So. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I'm I'm very like kind of like proud because, you know, they've never kind of done this to somebody else before. Yeah. I don't think so they've ever like, assigned anybody like who's really literally brand yeah, new. So I'm like, period. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, I think they made the right choice. Yes. Honestly, like I'm just trying to make them proud. <laughs> um. So what's the freakiest sexual thing you've done outside of porn? Oh, gosh. Ooh, in college, I had a train rain on me. Maybe. Really? Yeah, that was fun. Like, how many guys? Mm. That's the thing. I don't know. But it wasn't too much. It okay. was definitely not too much. So it was like, I was at a party, and I hit up this guy who had, I had been fucking. And I was like, yo, like, what you want? What you doing? And then he was just like, I'm just chilling with my bros. So I was like, can I come through? And so he said, yes. I Ubered over there. I don't even know why I did not make this man pay for my Uber. Like, you know, (laughs) I'm about to come here and bless y'all. But I went over and I didn't know how many guys I, I just got to remember. Because I know like some of them, they were on the basketball team. So there were like some recruits there. So like, could be like four to seven guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not too much though. Not too okay. Much. Yeah, that's, you know, I feel like that's a yeah, good. That's it's a, a good number. Yeah, it's a good number. <laughs> yeah. So then, um, so then it was his friends, but it was dark. They were smoking. I was drunk, so I was just like, you know, like they were like, you know, you for the team, like you wanted. Eh, eh, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, why not? Like, I felt cute. <laughs> you know, I felt I was like, why not? So like, yeah, I had them run a train on me, and I still had an Uber. Home. And you still the Uber home? Well, he had, his girl was going to come over, like, the <laughs> I was I was a whole different person then. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now you would make sure that they paid for your Uber. Yeah. I feel like I should pay f- for your Uber Ali, home. Right. Yeah. I mean, now you've got me feeling really guilty. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to pay for your Uber home. Thank I'm very you. sorry. <laughs> but I was just like, damn, you, you know, but I was stupid and I liked him a lot. And now he got married. Not to even that girl. Somebody, Somebody else. else. Yeah. I was like, when did this happen? You know. Did you feel like okay about it? Yeah. Like, yeah, I had whole, fun. You had fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you didn't come away from that feeling like, oh, uh, God. No. Okay, that's good. I was just mad I had to Uber back to right. my dorm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Um, so what kind of scenes do you like shooting the most? I like boy-girl, obviously, but I really want to shoot for more black-on-black scenes because I feel mm-hmm. like there's really none in professional yeah. porn. So that's what I wanted to, like, I made sure, like, they kind of knew, like, this is mm-hmm. what I like. This is what I'm into. But my first two scenes that I had shot with them were with white guys because I hadn't told them before that. And then mm-hmm. I was like, this is what I want. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so I was able to shoot with black guys. But, you know, it's still, I'm asking for a lot, I feel like. So, you know, I'm obviously going to get the interracial scenes. But I just want to still keep asking, you know, because mm-hmm. I feel like there's really no pres- uh, like representation of black on black in porn. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's definitely something that... I've been seeing in my bookings because I don't, you know, they tell me who they want me to shoot. Yeah. And I've noticed that there's, yeah, when before I almost never got that. Right. I'm getting a lot more of that. Yeah. Which I think is great. Yeah. You know? Because, like, it's a whole audience where that's what we want to watch. As I used to watch porn and it was like, damn, I have to be, like, on the 16th page to see two black people. Mm -hmm. Or, like, use other sites Mm because, like, you know, the main ones aren't for, aren't catering towards black people. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, th- the thing is, there's so many great black performers in yeah, the industry. Yeah. Like, and I feel like even a lot of, like, content creators would want to do professional porn because a lot of them don't because they know they'll be put into interracial scenes. And it's yeah. just, like, a lot of black women don't want to do that. You know, mm-hmm. like, I personally, like, I like black men in my personal life. So it's, like, I feel like I'd give better scenes if mm-hmm. it was with black co-stars because that's what I'm more into. Right. So, Yeah. Yeah. Who's your who's some of your favorite performers that you've worked with? Damien Daisky, yeah. He's like so far my favorite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Stop I remember. Stop it, chill. <laughs> I think I remember you mentioning that once. Yeah, yeah he's a new browser's contract yeah. star. Yeah. Yeah. I have not worked with him yet. He's funny. I saw that you shot with Isaiah Maxwell a little while yeah, ago. Yeah, that was so much fun. But that him. was for my content. Yeah, it was for porn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure you will. I love Isaiah. Yeah, he's, he's like so literally sweet. one of my favorite guys. Very soft spoken. I like. Yeah. Like I could listen to him talk all day. He's like, such a gentleman. Yeah. Like I just love his vibe. Yes. He's like when I have a day on set with Isaiah, mm-hmm. I'm like today is gonna be a good day. Also, Maze the Go. I really like him. He's funny. Who's that? Maze. I don't mm-hmm. know if you shot. Yeah. No. He's like really fun. I think he's been in it for like a year or two. Yeah. I mean, I barely. I'm shooting a lot less than I used to now, and I'm shooting mostly for Twisties, which is yeah, all girl girl. girl. girl yeah. So the only time I shoot boy girl is for browsers, and it's only the showcases, mm. and that's only like one a month. And we're actually they're actually taking a little break from. Um, so it's like very shooting. Rare, yeah. yeah. So I'm like barely shooting boy yeah. girl anymore. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I I haven't had an opportunity to work with like some of the newer See, guys. See, uh, what is it? Because I. I shot multiple scenes with um, Maze because, like, I was asking them for black on black scenes, but it's like, is there a shortage? <laughs> like, y'all yeah. kidding? Like, because <laughs> I was like getting the same two people, so I was like, like, come on, <laughs> yeah. you know. But it's it's okay. So it was just like, but Maze is really fun. Like, you would like him. He was like, good. Yeah, he's fun. I think. I mean, he's there's fun. a shortage of just good male talent in yeah. general. Yeah. Like that's hard, and I think also with a company like Browsers, they want to make sure that they're using somebody that they know is solid and dependable. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know, especially I've seen like with having like how much it messes up the day having somebody who's not. Yeah. Have you had that experience yet? No, I've heard of the like how it goes, but okay. like yeah. I pray that you never do. Oh no, because <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah, I mean, my third scene ever with Brazzers, I had to cut it short because like I, I started bleeding, mm-hmm. I couldn't take it, so I was like crying in the bathroom. I was like, oh my god, what did they fire me? Like, oh <laughs> but they they didn't obviously like they um because the Billy um told them they're like she's crying, like she's scared. Um, so then they called me and they were just like, you're okay. Billy Visual. Mm-hmm. He's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. He's really I great. love working with him. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yes. Um, I did a scene with him, which I cannot wait to come out, but I, like I got to cook in it. So it was really fun. Really? Yeah. Well, you did a scene with Billy? No, with, oh my God. Oh. Like him directing. Oh, okay. I was like, cause I know, I think I saw that like his wife is doing Yeah, she does stuff. Yeah. So I was like, She's I got like confused. She's like the newest MILF. Yeah. Yeah. I got like confused. I was yeah. like, what's happening? 
<laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, so, but they didn't like, did you feel so much better after they, I mean, you really thought they were going to be angry with yeah, you. Yeah. Huh? Cause you know, I, after also watching, you know, like hearing about the industry it was just mm-hmm. like, Oh shit. Like you gotta finish because you know, they wasted all this money and it was a, such a crazy day because the one talent got COVID. So they had to find somebody new, mm-hmm. something happened with location. So it was already a crazy day and I'm here I am. I can't take yeah. the stick. So it was like, yeah, but that's hardly your fault. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really feel like we've moved in a better direction in terms of taking care of talent because I won't lie like 10 years ago, that would, I would yeah. have had a, di- I actually had a phone call once. I remember very distinctly. I won't say who the agent is, yeah. but I had a girl who was crying because she was sore. I think she'd been working too much mm-hmm. and she like, couldn't take, she's yeah, like, just yeah. couldn't do the scene. And I was, I felt terrible, especially as a woman. I was like, yeah. I'm not going to like, I'm not going to make you do exactly. this. Like, that's just terrible. Like you're in pain. Like you, we should cancel mm-hmm. you and we'll get some, I don't know. We'll it's like, no matter out. how much lube you put, it's going to hurt. It's, it's going to hurt. Not, like, like, she didn't have to put you through that. Right. And I remember her agent like called her and like yelled at her. Damn. And, um, so she's like crying in her chair because, you know, she, she like can't do the scene and her yeah. agent's mad at her. And so, and I would, and she's like, I can do it. She's like trying to pull herself together. She's like, I can do it. I'm like, you're not fucking doing the scene. Right, exactly. Like you clearly like can't do it. So I called her agent and he was, t- he tried to tell me that she was lying. Oh my God. Yeah. He's like, she's <laughs> yeah, making it up. up. She's lying. She's fine. Shoot what the is scene. wrong with men? I swear. And like... I was so, I was so angry. Yeah, I was annoying. like, that's fucking bullshit. I'm like, I can tell you as a woman, like she's not lying. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not going to make her do this scene. Yeah. I'm fucking sending her home. Like you're not charging her a kill fee. Exactly. Like it was just like, that was one of those moments where I kind of had a. Like, what am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. I had that moment where I was like, am I am I in an industry that's like, okay, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. are we treating people the way that we're supposed to? Exactly. Um, and I'm so happy to say that, you know, thank God that that's like that one instance. Mm-hmm. And most of my experiences have been really positive. And now like, you know, so many years later working for companies like browsers and yeah. twisties, they're so tuned into like the talent and how they're feeling. And we've had these meetings where they're like, if they don't feel good, if they need to go home for mm-hmm. whatever reason, like they're having a bad day, like whatever right, it is, like, they're like, go. let them go. We're not going to, you know, penalize them. Mm-hmm. We're not going to blacklist them. Like the mental health of the people that we work with is really yeah, important is and we need to take care of them. And I was like, that that's how really, really good me feel. to yeah. have those conversations. Yeah. Like that's how like that as a talent, like as a new talent too, that, mm-hmm. that's definitely how I felt where it's like when people ask me about the industry, it's like, I love it, but it's also, like, I've only worked with browsers and mm-hmm. Casting Cash. So it's, like, I don't know if, like, all the other companies are like that. Like, I can't tell you to join because, like, I yeah. can't be, like, you're going to have my experience. Yeah. Know? That's the thing. It's, like, you can – I've heard wildly different stories yeah. from different women coming in at the same time. One person started with this company and they had the most amazing time. Yeah. And somebody started with something else and they exactly. had a horrible experience. And then, like, that colored their experience mm-hmm. for the rest of their career. Or they – they dropped out and then they went on this kind of rampage about how the porn industry yeah, is terrible. all evil and exactly. terrible. And I'm like, man, you just had, you just worked with the wrong people. Like, right. Fuck. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I, I didn't even realize like it could have, cause like when I joined, I didn't really like, I was watching all these things, but I wasn't really thinking like, you're going to be those girls. You, you could be one of those girls. Mm-hmm. You have the problem. And then the more like I go on more sets and speak to more people, I realized like, Oh shit. I could have been like, put in those glory hole videos or like mm-hmm. doing anal like right away mm-hmm. or just doing really like just pushing my body to such a limit in like such a short amount of time mm-hmm. where it's like every single time I go on I'm like I'm so lucky like I'm with this company and mm-hmm. like working with such amazing people because like like some girls is just it's really not worth it like, yeah no absolutely mm-hmm. not and then if you get caught up with a bad agent yeah who pushes you to do scenes that you're not ready exactly. for. Exactly. Because they don't care. Right. Because even now, I feel like I'm giving them less because, like, I'm just, like, I feel like my list is so vanilla, but it's, like, I'm not even being pushed to do anything, like, because mm-hmm. they're just still, you know, building me up. So it's really nice, like, to yeah. have that. Yeah. They won't. They'll never push you. Yeah, exactly. That's what I love. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we will be right back. So hang tight. Hindsight is 2020, and you can't change the past, but what if you get a little help from your future self? Maybe you'd ask to borrow a little cash. Now you can with Dave. Listen, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, it's incredibly stressful when unexpected bills come up. Maybe your car broke down or your laptop, 
Whatever it is, Dave is here to help. Dave is a banking app that can get you up to $500 instantly with extra cash. You can finally tackle those expenses that have been stressing you out without any hangups. There's no interest and no credit check needed. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from future you. Download the Dave app from the App Store right now. That's D-A-V-E. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve. Member FDIC. Future you. Well, thank you. Okay, guys, we are back. So, Elsie, what are some of your goals in the industry? I just want to honestly be the best. Like, <laughs> or at least, like, the one of the best black women to ever join the industry. I want to, like either just make a mark in it and I wanna change things about the industry and how like in black people are in the industry and stuff. I wanna I just I'm here to take over, honestly. Like I'm just here to be the best <laughs> and I'm gonna take my time obviously with things, mm-hmm. but I'm definitely like here to stay and like yeah. So do you wanna like create more visibility for black people in the industry? Yeah. And just like just do things where you've never really seen black um sex workers do, like black um performers do. So, like, just I want to do the outrageous scenes. I want to do, like, you know, like, the scenes, like, they mostly give white um, performers. Mm -hmm. So I definitely want to, like, change that. Also, like, in being, like, the highest paid black woman. Like, Mm -hmm. that would be a nice title. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, you know, or, like, the most awarded, you know. I'm going to Beyonce this industry, basically. (laughs) I love that. I love that. Yes. Um, Is there anyone that you're dying to shoot with that you haven't worked with yet? Sherry DeVille. Oh my God, yeah. she's a good friend of mine, and she's oh, really so like awesome. Her. That's why I, I used to watch her stuff when I was mm-hmm. young. So yeah, I really want to work with her, and I've like said it so many times too. Like I don't know why they would put me with her, but they yeah. will. I mean, <laughs> yeah. she's a browser's contract star yeah, too, so, so I hope, they will. Hopefully soon. She's yeah. just busy, so yeah. it's hard to like oh, nail her too. down. Yeah, but exactly. she's. I, I can tell you right now, she's like, she's one of my favorite people in the industry. She's so super genuine. Yeah, and she's just like really loving. She's got a very. I know she plays like a milf on. Yeah. Except she also has a very mom side. Oh, to her, that's cute. I've watched really like so sweet. many of her interviews where it's like she just seems like a cool person. She's like, super cool. I would love to talk to her and like just get yeah. advice and stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, she's amazing. <laughs> I'm. That's that's a name. I'm. I'm happy to hear yes, you say. Yes. Uh, what's been the most surprising thing about working in porn for you? Mm. Let me see. Oh, how short the sex is. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I get sad because I'm like, damn, that's really? It. Yeah. I find it so short. Like, you know, because, but also it's like porn is kind of my only sex life. So it's like, I wanted longer. Interesting. Cause, yeah. Because most performers are like, how much longer do we have to shoot for? No, I mean, or, sometimes it gets like that, but like yeah. a lot of times it's like, damn, that was short. Like, you know, like I wanted to be longer. Like I thought it would be like, We'd be there for like seven hours, and four of those hours is sex. That's what you I can to... have sex for four hours. Well, that's what I thought the industry was like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought like you're putting in work to get yeah. like really good content, but it's it's like damn, thirty minutes. Like... I mean, some believe me, some scenes have taken me four hours to yeah. shoot, but <laughs> but that's not. It shouldn't be like that. Right. Like what what would be like a good length for you? Because does four four seems like it's. A I could lot. do an hour. An hour. Yeah. Okay. An hour, 30 minutes. Like, I could do that. An hour and 30 minutes. And 30 minutes, yeah. What's, like, the longest period of time you've ever had sex, like, in your personal life? Ooh. Like, two hours. Like, back to, or all night if we're doing it, like, back and forth, back mm-hmm. and forth. Yeah. But you take, like, little breaks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just not not two hours in a whole row. Like, yeah. That's yeah. A lot. That's a lot. <laughs> but honestly, if we're switching positions and going from, like, blowjob, head, I could do it. Mm-hmm. I could definitely do it. Yeah. What's uh, some of your favorite sexual positions? I love doggy because, like, I like twerking on it. Mm. I don't like riding. Oh, my God. I'd be so tired. I do not have, like, strong knees. So it's just, like, damn. I'm a pillow princess. Like, I just want to lay down. You do everything. (laughs) Like, yeah, I don't like riding. (laughs) Especially reverse cowgirl. Oh, my God. That's the worst. It's too much. (laughs) It's, like. Especially in porn because it's, like, look at the camera. Like, yeah. no, now hold your ass like this. And it's like, we're, we're asking for a lot right now. Like, yeah. Well, that's regular cowgirl. Yeah. Oh, so is that like, oh, reverse is the one where you face. Yeah. And it's like doing squats. Yeah. Because no. you usually have to be on your feet. And also, I get so conscious because I'm like, am I crushing you? Like, I can't trust when the guys are like, yeah, just put your hands on my like chest. Yeah. I can't trust you. Like, yeah. I'm just so scared. I'm going to like break you. 
You're like, tiny. You're not going to break anybody. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just feel like I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Um, what about women? So do you prefer men over women? Yeah, I'm definitely straight. I thought I was bi, and then I did porn. And I was mm. like, but also, like, I, I definitely still want to try, like, to have an intimate lesbian experience, like, without the cameras, mm-hmm. just to see. But mm-hmm. as of right now, it's just, like, it's really hard to have, like, girl and girl sex on camera. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. But I definitely, I think I'm straight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I'm the same. Yeah. I mean, I'm very much, like, I'm not into women. Mm-hmm. I've tried a couple. Yeah, that's what I, like, I really thought I'd be into it. And I was kind of sad. I was like, damn. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, yeah. you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be ashamed of it's like, you know, they say you shouldn't be ashamed of your sexuality if you Definitely. are, like, if you like the same sex mm-hmm. or whatever. But you should also not be ashamed of only liking the opposite <laughs> just, sex. Yeah, it's okay to be straight. I, <laughs> I know. I guess I got to remember that. <laughs> I feel like that way, too, though, sometimes. Like, sometimes I feel like, especially when I do interviews and people are always trying to ask me, like, these crazy sex questions. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I don't. I feel like I have a good answer (laughs) for that. Like, if you ask me about the industry and about, like, how porn has changed over Mm -hmm. the years and about, um, I don't know, legislation against porn and and all that kind of stuff, like the history of porn, like crazy set stories, I can tell you stories all day. But if you want to know, like, where the craziest place I ever had sex is. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. I don't I don't have one. You don't do that? Even when you were young? Oh, gosh. Like, <laughs> I don't know, in the car maybe, but that's not that exciting. Oh, car sex is boring, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, where did you guys park? Church? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> no. I don't know. How about like, you? Mm. I don't have a good answer for that. I think for me it would be, like, the woods. Well, but that was, like, my first time. So, like. That was your, when you lost your mm-hmm. virginity? Oh, yeah. so you said you had a good story about when you lost your yeah, virginity. Yeah, I, like, I mean, it was, like, in a threesome and oh, wow. yeah, I was like 15. It was freshman year. They, I was I was such a pick me girl. Like I literally was like, yeah, I'll be the team manager like for football. That was not a like it did not exist. I went to like the principal and I was like, I could help the football team by like giving them water, like being the water girl, basically. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted some dick. Like I just wanted a boyfriend. <laughs> like, you know, like it was just terrible because like I was like, I think I'm hot now or I can get a boy. But yeah, so like. Uh, it was these two guys. I remember we were walking from football practice, and then there was just like, "Have you had sex?" I was like, "Yeah, what you talking about?" <laughs> like, I'd be fucking out here. <laughs> I was like, and then they were like, "I mean, what you trying to do?" And I was like, "What y'all trying to do?" And so like we were like, we saw like like behind the school there were these wood woods, and then like at the top of the woods is like somebody's house. So we just go like between like in that area. So. um it was me and these two guys. I don't like. I I didn't really watch straight porn either. Like when I was watching porn, so I was like, "Oh my god!" Wait, you didn't watch straight porn when you watched porn? Would you watch? I would just watch lesbian, like Sherry oh, Deville. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was watching. Yeah, that's why I thought like for a minute, like that's what I was into. Right. But um, right. so I'm like walking with these guys, and I'm like, "Holy fuck!" Like I'm about to do this, and then they were virgins too. So it was just like, "Oh, oh my like a little fucking virgin orgy. god!" Yeah. <laughs> It was. So it was just like nobody knowing what to do. Like it was so terrible. And I didn't even have sex for like two, like two, three years after that. Because I was like, that's what sex is? Like what? Wait, like- I need to know more details about this. <laughs> were you guys all trying to pretend like you were not virgins? Yes. Like we so were all of you fucking, yeah. were fronting. And so- I remember the one guy trying to put it in my asshole. And I've never had anal sex, like even till now. And I was just like, I was like, I guess that's it. Like, I guess, but it couldn't go anywhere. So then we tried, you know, the vagina. But also, I didn't know you needed to be wet. They didn't know you needed to be wet. So it was just like, why isn't this going in? So it was just like a painful ordeal. It was (sighs) the sounds that probably people heard was terrible. Like, it was just trying to figure out how this works. And I think only the tips got in. (laughs) So if that counts, this is virginity. Wow. (laughs) Wait, did you like blow it? Had you given blowjobs before? No. I was like, I'm too too pretty for that. I don't know why. Like, I literally had that attitude for such a long time. I was like, no. I'm too, you were too pretty for blowjobs? Yeah. And the crazy thing is, I don't have a uvula because I got cut off in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I could give good head. Like, I, I think I could pretty, I give pretty good head. So like, but for a long time, I was not giving head. Wow. Like, yeah. So they only got, like, the little tips in there. Yeah, that was and it. Then, and then, <laughs> did anybody come? Um, no, I don't think so. But I was scared of being pregnant for a while. 
Yeah. Like, like it was understandably. it was a very dry experience. Like <laughs> there was no moisture, like nowhere. Like yeah. we didn't even know to use saliva. Like wow. yeah, it was just terrible. And then like I remember going to school the next day and I was just like <laughs> I'm so loose. Like, I was like, I'm so loose. <laughs> but I felt like, you know, I felt grown up. I was like, I'm no longer like these little girls anymore. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's probably safe to say you didn't have a lot of sex education growing up. No, I did not. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Cause, yeah, that was bad. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's the case for a lot of people. Yeah. I, yeah. I wonder if people have had like good first times, especially if they were young. Like, you know, I mean... Mine was not good. Yeah. I had sex with my, I was 16. My boyfriend was 15. He was a dick. Oh my God. Um, I just wanted to get like, lose my get virginity little, yeah. because all my friends had lost their virginity. Um, I wish I'd waited because I ended right. up having a really great boyfriend like six months later mm. and we were together for like a year. Are you could have And he was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I wish I'd waited for him. Yeah. But I didn't. I lost it to fucking... Fucking Justin Pearson. Oh if you're gosh. out there, Justin Pearson, <laughs> you were a dick. Because he wouldn't take his shirt off because he had pimples all over his back. So he wouldn't take his shirt off during sex. See, I um, would have appreciated that. And he was, to be fair, he was gentle with me okay. during it. Like, he didn't, mm-hmm. like, I was like, ow, that hurts. And he was like, yeah. slow down. But then, like, a week later, we broke up because... He was just so mean to me and I crashed my car oh my God. and he didn't care. And he, he told me, I'll never, Damn. <laughs> I'll never forget this. I crashed my car like a week later. I was like crying hysterically. And he was like, I don't care that you crashed your car. All I care about is the skink and pickle concert next week. Oh my God. I don't know why this always Justin? stuck with me. I was like, I'm less important to this guy than a fucking ska concert. <laughs> Damn. He really did not give a, like, how was he going to get there? Were you going to be his ride? No. No go down. <laughs> I don't know. He was just like, I like I just crashed my car. I was well, crying. Good that you I was broke like, up so with him. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Fucking Justin Pearson. I never had You never deserved up. my virginity. Exactly. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Time year and Khalil, y'all deserved it. I just wish it was better. <laughs> like, I could give them a round to you, honestly. I would love to, I would love to finish that. <laughs> oh my god, maybe you could do like a fuck a fan thing yeah, and bring them exactly. back. <laughs> For to like the same spot <laughs> to like the real experience, yes. and then film it for your OnlyFans and exactly. make a ton of money. Yes. <laughs> what oh were their God, names? Khalil and Tamir. Khalil, Khalil and Tamir is either dead or in prison. I don't know. Ooh, I then, like I was stalking not. him the other day, but I was just like, there's nothing past like 2016. So, oh man, could be jail or death. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. Maybe just who's the other one? Khal- uh, Tamir. Tamir. He's alive. Yeah. He's I've seen him. Okay. Tamir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, fuck time here actually, because he was my boyfriend and he he made me keep it a secret. Oh, <laughs> like, he okay. He was one of those boys, like, let's just not tell everybody. <laughs> I think I had a couple of those boyfriends. It was too. very weird. Like, why did they very do that? Unkind. Yeah. So basically, I just want to have sex with you, but I don't want anyone to I don't to, want like, anyone to know. know that we're together. Right. It's terrible. Ugh, I just wish I knew better, like when I was young. <laughs> Same. I know, right? And it's like now that I have a daughter, I'm like, I hope that I can teach her to wait for yeah. the right person. But like, in all honesty, like, the kids are going to do what the yeah, fuck they're exactly. going to do. You can't control them. Just be safe. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I wish I was being safe. I did that. use a condom. I will say that. No, I've only used a condom once in my whole entire, like, sex Really? Life. Yeah. I don't like them. I mean, I don't like them either, yeah. but I also don't like STDs. <laughs> That's, I know, for me, it's never, I realized, like, even before I joined the industry, it was never about, as, I was always scared about pregnancy, but it's mm-hmm. like, I still want it raw. And I realized, like, oh, my God, I could have fucking caught something. Because, mm-hmm. like, I was not getting tested. I was just... I mean, the train I had, like, that was crazy, yeah. too. Because, like, that guy was fucking a lot of girls. And, like, he fuck, he gave me, like, a yeast infection. So, I, like, I'll always remember him for that. For, like, giving my first yeast infection. And I thought it was a ST, STD. So, mm. yeah. Um, I mean, now, at least in the adult industry, like, you get yeah, tested, tested yeah. all the time. And you're working with people who are getting tested all the exactly, time. So that's yeah. kind of a relief. Yeah. You can like feel pretty safe. But I feel like that. I can't go to the club and then like yeah. find somebody and it's so rare for them to have a test. Like, yeah. It's pretty, yeah, it would be kind of irresponsible like, for you to have sex with them. <laughs> right. And, and I just have, got tested and then I have a scene tomorrow. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Mm-hmm. I know. But. They. I wish they had like those at home, like rapid tests. Yeah. Because like sometimes it does take too long. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you're horny, and it's, yeah, and then it's like you've lost the moment. Honestly, yeah, guys, start taking tests at the club. Like, that's smart. Just yeah, 
Like, seriously. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> like, because I, I just want to add, but imagine if you ask a guy and you're trying not to go home with him, and it's like, mm, do you have a test? And then they're like, I do, yeah, I do. Like, damn. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they could fake it too. There should be an app. It's yeah, like a dating a app. app or something. Yeah, yeah, like an app where, oh my God. Okay, you know how Grinder works? Yeah. Do you know how Grinder, like, you like mark that you're gay and mm-hmm. you know, and then it like if another person is a grinder, it like lights up when you guys are near each other. Oh shit. What yes. if you had a fucking app for S T D testing? Exactly. And if you had a fresh test, it would light bing. up and bing with somebody nearby you. So if you were at the club and someone there had a fresh like, test <laughs> and it's verified because it's through an app, mm-hmm. then you could be like, That guy's got a Tell fresh test. Like, I'm taking I just right. I think I just came up with a million dollar yeah, idea. Yeah. I think we should just do that. Yeah. Yeah, nobody take that. <laughs> Delete this like, like last part. <laughs> that would actually, yeah, that would be such a good fucking idea. Cause yeah, it's a mess out here. Yeah. Ugh. And then with monkeypox now. <gasps> yes. Like now it's like I'm on a seven day test, not 14 days. I'm yeah. so scared. Like, cause especially like it fucks up your face. Mm-hmm. So it's like that would be really I did just hard get an me. email from Mind Geek about it. Yeah. Like just being like to look make- at it. Yeah, making sure that everybody checks themselves and just, like, warning people about mm-hmm. it in the call sheet. And if they have anything that, like, looks, looks like it could be something close to not come to yeah. set and to, like, really keep an eye out. Exactly. Because, yeah, that's that would suck. Especially something that fucks up your face. Yeah, because you just break out in, like, lesions everywhere, right? And it can yeah, scar and, like, you. Yeah, and, like, we don't know how, yeah, the scarring looks yet. Like, so that's a scary thing. And they have vaccines for it, but they don't have enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, like, I think only, like, certain people can get it now. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's, I was listening to NPR this morning and they were talking about, they're coming out with like 800,000 new tests this weekend or something like that. But that's yeah, for the I'm gonna need some. <laughs> whole fucking state of the U.S. And, and yet you have to fall into a certain category in order to be yeah. eligible for it. But they'll make more of it and eventually probably everyone will be Hopefully vaccinated. like sex workers can get that like quicker. I feel like the government's going to put sex workers last yeah, at honestly. the bottom of the fucking well, list. I don't know. I know y'all be fucking a lot, but. We don't care about you. We don't see you <laughs> Let's give people. it to the married couples so, first. Right. Like, <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Uh, so does your family know that you work in porn? My siblings do, but my parents don't. They don't. But I feel like they do because like, I don't know if my siblings could keep that like mm-hmm. that big of a secret, especially my younger ones. Mm-hmm. But like, I, I just talked to my parents today. So it's like, my mom says something about like, you know, it's all about loving what you do. And I was like, like, does she know? <laughs> like, what is she talking about? But I was, and also my sister just quit her job today. So I'm just, you know, like, I'm kind of the one making the most. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like, you know, it's great. But I don't think I'll be disowned when they find out. So that's a good thing. But it's definitely going to be like weird. Are you planning on telling them or are you just going to let them find no, out and then deal gonna with it? I'm just going to let her ride with it. Yeah. You're just, just going to let yeah, them find I out. <laughs> I would rather my siblings tell, like, honestly. Yeah? Yeah. That's a hard conversation I to know. have. But, like, my cousins know. Like, everybody back home kind of knows. But, like, I, they just all love me, honestly. Like, yeah. I'm just a lovable person. It's, like, hard to be kind of mad. Yeah. Like, so. Yeah. I can never be mad yeah, at you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just hard. Like, so I feel like, I mean, you know, I think that if you can kind of... What what I have found in my conversations with other people who have, you know, told their parents and mm-hmm. had kind of a hard time with it, um, I think once their parents came to see that they were making good money, yeah. they were being safe about it, um, they were happy with what they were doing, and yeah. they were being, like, responsible with exactly. the money that they made, then they they yeah. were able to accept it. And sometimes, it. like, I'm so, like, today I wanted to tell, I would want to tell my mom, like, oh, my God, I'm going to be a pot. But I was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah like for what she'll definitely she'll like, know if she <laughs> like <laughs> why yeah. does somebody want to hear you speak like yeah so that was like damn i can't say that or like i can't even explain to them what a browser's contract is like you yeah. know like i can be like hey look this is how i'm starting out don't be scared but i don't know how long do you think it's going to be until they find out i think it'll probably a year i think it could ride out for a minute hmm. yeah I don't know. I don't know. People, parents always <laughs> find out sooner than you think they will. I don't know. I really, I just, it, I don't see, maybe Facebook. Maybe they could find out from Facebook. Like one of their friends is going to see you and then tell them. That's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, maybe they'll notice the name, but I don't know. I feel Because Brazzers is a big brand. Yeah. And they keep reposting. I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> like, oh, my God, damn. It's like y'all really want some, certain people to see it. Yeah. <laughs> like, How do your parents feel about sex? Like sexuality um, in general. My mom is very, um, very Christian, very conservative, but mm. she's young. So she's she's getting into like the gentle parenting thing and she's kind of getting into like more understanding. So that's why I think like 
Oh, well, that's great. Easy to, that's, that's really good. Because mm-hmm. my sister was able to tell her, like, she masturbates. And I would have never been able to say that. So it's like, like, and she has the younger, my younger sibling. So she's uh-huh. definitely more progressive. My dad, honestly. How old is your mom? She is 39. Yeah, 38 or 39. She's <laughs> no, stop. Me. She's younger than me. She I fucking knew it. She's 17, though. I knew so, it. Like, I knew why. it. I know. Yeah. It's just like everybody's younger than me now. Yeah. But it's like... I was 20 when I started in this industry. And oh everyone was older than me. <laughs> That's Sorry. what I feel sometimes. I'm like, damn, I'm going to keep getting older. Like, I'm at 22 and it's like, then 23, then 24. Ugh. Like, I, I will be forever 21. I, you know what, though? I'm going to tell you, like, honestly, my 30s were better than my 20s. Really? And my 40s are better than my 30s. Yeah, but I feel like I'm having such a good time. You're going to have a great time, but but you will, you will grow and you will change and your priorities yeah. will shift, yeah. but have fun in your twenties. Like absolutely Definitely, do yeah. all the things that you want to do. Travel, like get, cause that's what I did. Yeah. Um, like have sex with lots of people. That's what I did. Yes. Um, you know, party <laughs> all the time. That's what I, yeah. Just experience it. And then you will eventually like, you, you will out. naturally want to adjust. Yeah. I mean, I think, I don't know. I could be Probably. totally fucking if, Yeah, like, <laughs> Maybe you're 60 knows. and you're still up in the club. Like. Yeah, it could be. Oh, that would be nice. I was thinking about having, like, a club for older people because, like, it's sometimes so tiring seeing older people at the club. <laughs> like, why is your dad here? You know? Like, <laughs> like I just... It's this like, is why I don't go to fucking clubs. Because <laughs> no! the people like you no, are going to look at me and be but like, just what like- are you doing? <laughs> It's just like, what are we doing here? <laughs> you know, like <laughs> honestly, though, I would feel that way, which is why I don't go to the club because I very much feel like, why I just am feel I like here? We need to have age limits for clubs because, like, it is people's dads in the club. Yeah. And it's like, why are you behind me? Like, you know, like, what are you doing? Well, and they're probably trying to make a move on you, too. Exactly. So yeah. it's just like, no, Otis, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like, no. Do you want to have a family one day? Yes. Oh, my God, yes. I want to, like, when I'm done and I'm, I settle down, I'll probably go back to Kenya, have my own farm, and have, like, a family there. Like, oh, you guys will nice. never hear from me again. Aww. Like, probably, I mean, you probably will. I'll probably, like, vlog or something. But, yeah, I just want to go back home. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you miss Kenya so much that fun. much, huh? Yeah, that's always going to be home for me. Like, yeah. Yeah. That makes and sense. And also, I want to have a farm there and land. Just all that. And you could probably, you know, work out here, make a lot of money, Save it and yeah. then go back to Kenya and then probably people won't recognize you there. Oh, you I'm know? scared that they will. That's why I was like, my parents kept telling me to go and I was so scared to go with them because I was like, I don't know, you know? Because like there they watch a lot. Like these been, my comments have been with like hella Kenyans and I was really Oh, surprised. really? Yeah. So Kenyans watch a lot of porn. Yeah, I was very shocked. <laughs> I was very shocked at that. I was like... What? Like, this is my country? Like, what are you guys doing? You know, I was like, oh my God. Why are you guys here yeah, watching me? Right. It was very weird. But um, all of them were been nice. So I was like, hopefully he's better over there. But I am scared to go with my family first. Right. Rather, yeah. Because they might recognize you. I also and heard that. I love your browser yeah. scene I'm like, in front of your about? parents. I'm like, who? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. You got the wrong person. <laughs> like, I will literally, they're like, are you not Elsie? I'm like, who? Like, <laughs> that's definitely not my name. Right. My parents are like, yes, it is. <laughs> right. That I realized that would be a problem using my real my real first name. Like, but mm-hmm. yeah, I like it too much. It is a beautiful name. Thank you. Yeah, I know all the LCs are probably Max. Like, it's an old name, so like all the grandmothers are probably sick as fuck right now. That's okay. But, yeah. It's not your problem. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I'm bring a whole new brand to Elsie. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Elsie, thank you so much for coming. Brenda, on. It's thank been you for such a pleasure. Too. Can you let everybody know where they can find you online? <laughs> um, my Twitter is Elsie Later with two R's. So, Elsie Ya Later. Oh my God, I realize it's such a terrible, like, it's, like it's so. I actually, I love it. I think it's I like it cute. too, but it's hard with spelling. So, it's E L S I E Y A. L A T E R R. That's for my Twitter. And then my Instagram is I'll see you later underscore with one R. So if you can get all that. <laughs> yeah. And then are you on any other platforms? Mm, OnlyFans, I'll see you later too. And my TikTok is corny, so no. <laughs> you don't want people to go to your TikTok? <laughs> I mean, it's I'll see you later underscore, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very corny. Because <laughs> I have all videos from like before I did this, and I'm just not going to go and like delete all of them. Uh, it's too okay. many. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> and you guys can find me at Holly Randall on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, my TikTok is Holly Randall Unfiltered. 
if I'm still up by the time this episode comes out. <laughs> and of course, if you want to support this podcast, go to patreon.com slash Holly Randall Unfiltered. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.